Welcome to the Commercial Real Estate Show. Thanks for joining us to lead, learn, and laugh. Learn market knowledge and best practices to lead your company's success. And laugh, yes, I believe we have to have some fun along the way. Well, hello, I'm Michael Bull, your host to the world of commercial real estate. If you have any questions or comments related to today's show or about any commercial real estate related endeavors, you're invited to connect with us, follow, like, uh, circle, however you'd like to get in contact with us. You can find all the connections at commercialrealestateshow.com. Today, our show is called Associations That Matter Too. We will have the opportunity to talk with the national leaders of three top commercial real estate associations. Associations can be the lifeblood of commercial real estate industry. The education, networking, and relationships alone help us grow and prosper in any market. We'll start with one of my favorites, ICSC, the International Council of Shopping Centers. Please welcome Jay Starr, Chief National Marketing Officer, ICSC, the premier resource for retail real estate industry. Jay, thanks for joining us today. My pleasure, Michael. Thank you for having me. Well, Jay, if you could start us out with telling us about, you know, how many members do you have at ICSC and, and what is the makeup of your membership? Sure. Uh, ICSC, uh, we uh, got... Our charter was in 1957, and uh, it started with uh, eight eight guys sit, sitting around a table. And today we have 62,000 members worldwide. Uh, the composition of that is pretty much 50,000 in the U.S., 3,800 in Canada, and the rest in Asia, Latin America, Europe, and throughout the world. Our core membership, Michael, is primarily uh, shopping center owners and developers, retailers, and lending institutions. But we also have uh, over 20,000 associate members, and those are the companies that supply products and services to our core membership. And we have offices are, are headquartered in New York City. We have an office in D.C., California, and then throughout the world, Singapore, Beijing, London, Mexico City, and Dubai. So we are truly a global organization. Yeah, fantastic organization. I'm a member, and I, I sure enjoy it. In fact, I was a part of a session yesterday that was uh, done in conjunction with ICSC and the Atlanta Commercial Board, and it was a, a great event. Well, tell us about uh, some of the benefits of membership, Jay. Well, ICSC, like most associations, provides its members with education, advocacy, research, and networking. And for those of you keeping score, that acronym spells EARN. Um, <laughs> and basically, that is what, what we do. That's how we promote our offerings in our, in, um, you know, when we're out broadcasting what we provide as an association. Most associations provide that, but uh, maybe three out of the four, two out of the four, but we provide all four. And we offer a wide assortment of products and services, probably more than most other associations, given our size and scope. Yeah, I like your... Um uh, on your website, it says the premier resource for the real retail real estate industry, and I really believe that's true. I mean, with all the the resources that you have there, and the networking, and the and the training, it's it's truly amazing. It really creates some efficiency and some professionalism in the retail real estate market. Well, well Jay, what might surprise people about membership with ICSC? If you're a uh, not a member, or maybe you're a member that hasn't been active enough, uh, what might surprise people? Well, I would say it, it dovetails, Michael, with what you just said about being part of a program yesterday. Uh, many things come to mind that would surprise people at ICC, but probably the most, what might be one of the most surprising is our members' willingness to share best practices with each other. Rarely is there an association where members actually teach each other best practices, considering that they might be competing with each other the next day for retail space or whatever other uh, opportunities might come up. At our deal-making events, the largest we branded recon, um, you know, that's where uh, a lot of education and deal-making take place with over 30,000 attendees. But I would say that's probably one of the most biggest surprises that our members, that's how we're able to put on over 300 shows a year. It's not because of the size of our staff, it's because of the willingness of our members to share best practices with each other. Yeah, that's an excellent point, and that actually happened yesterday at the event. Uh, some real experienced uh, retail people uh, helping other retail people uh, grow their business and, and become more professional. Well, tell us a little bit more about the, the training available for ICSC members. Well, we do have a dedicated education department, which really that their, their job every day is to come in and figure out what's the best way to educate our members. Uh, annually, we host a university-style program, 
and then we have our JTR schools, which is you could equate that to almost an undergraduate program and feel and that uh, which has a broad range of industry topics. Then we also host on a regular uh, basis executive level executive level uh, learning series, education targeted for specific members like lawyers, architects, designers, owner developers, and retailers. These take place throughout the year and uh, in different formats and settings, and they're constantly evolving, Michael, because you know we're trying to keep the current with the industry. So whatever we do today doesn't mean we're going to do it tomorrow. We just try to uh, adapt and educate the industry as best as possible. Yeah, that's fantastic. And so you mentioned uh, Recon, and uh, that's the, the big event in Vegas every year, and uh, you had a great event there this year. How, how, how did it grow this year, and how did it go? Uh, well, we, it, it grows in several uh, facets. One, one benchmark is attendance, which we've had 3,000 more than the prior year, so we had close to 35,000 this year. Uh, also exhibitors. We, we, you know, the show is, a, is a, a heavy in deal-making, and um, really what happens is our, a lot of our owner-developers and retailers, they set up, it's almost like an office environment where you come in and you think you're actually walking into an office on Fifth Avenue in New York City where there's a receptionist, there's desk, and then that's where the deals happen. That's where if uh, retails will meet with developers and, and they'll, get, uh, they'll go into uh, new or redeveloped shopping centers. And a lot of the, um, what happens at Recon is really deals that are either conceived or consummated throughout the year and happens at this event. And we have Recons throughout the world as well. We've branded that, kind, that similar convention in other uh, areas of the world as well. Yeah, that is amazing. I think the first time I went to to Recon was many, many years ago, and it was amazing to me. I don't know. I expected booths and people networking, but everywhere I looked, there were people signing leases, signing contracts, uh, looking at uh, floor pl- uh, site plans and saying w- where they wanted to be. There was a heck of a lot of deal making going on. If you've never been to Recon, it's amazing. If you're in retail real estate, you've got to get out there. Uh, it's amazing how much uh, business is actually done there. And uh, you also have some current initiatives at ICSC there, don't you, this year? We, we do. Uh, given the association scope and our diversity in membership, our initiatives are not uh, they're not static. We, we mm-hmm. You know, they're pretty much ever-changing. Uh, just to give you an idea, one major initiative was Main Street Fairness. Uh, ICSC would like the Internet-only retailers to pay sales tax on all sales, just like our, their brick-and-mortar counterparts. Also, there's a lot of redevelopment of shopping centers in the U.S. and other mature markets, and we're developing new products uh, like asset management conferences and, and other like to, to educate the industry on these new, you know, what's on the current trends. Right. And tell us about some of your events you have uh, coming up, Jay. Uh, I know you have events all over the world, right? Yes. Um, Recon, as you, as, you, as you mentioned, you know, politely, Michael, that that is where the industry meets. That, there's one, just so you know, uh, we also host it in Dubai, we, uh, in, in Asia, we have one in uh, Latin America, and in Europe we have an event that it will soon be branded Recon because it's, it's evolving that way. Uh, the retail real estate you know, at Recon, that's where the business is done for the year. And that's where it happens. We also have regional deal makings for this because uh, not everybody is a big shopping center developer. So to accommodate those people, we have regional deal makings as well. And then the education, like we mentioned earlier, that happens throughout the year. To house 325 global programs, you, you have to imagine that you know that it's just a matter of just trend, what's in tr- what's trending, what do our members want, and addressing those needs. Right. And if we can, let's go back to the training for a minute because I think that's really important. I think we have one of the industries where some people think they can get in and do well without training, and it's just not true. Are there training available online, or is training available online through yes, ICSC? There is training available online. We have uh, what we call e-distance learning, and mm-hmm. everything we pretty much offer, uh, actually on a, on a larger scale from what you're saying, if you go to our website, icsc.org, every program and service that we make available is on our website. It's a full-service website, and anybody could see everything. But to answer your, your specific question, we have e-distance learning, and we have other programs and webinars. We, we are very big now into webinars. So, you know, some, some members said we don't want to leave our desk for education, so we keep evolving with developing more webinars and more online programs for those people that want uh, education at their desk, that's, as well as the local meetings. That's fantastic. We're short on the break here. Closing tip for us? Uh, the best tip was like, is what I, I could tell our members or the members to be is join a committee 
whether it's a, plo- a program planning group, an indus- be an industry ambassador, or a specific industry group, nothing can help you more professionally than getting involved. And I guarantee you, not only would anyone make new business acquaintances, but they'd make new friends as well. Jay Starr, thanks for joining us today, sir. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. If you'd like more information from Jay Starr and ICSC, visit ICSC.org. Stay tuned for more associations that matter, too. This is the Commercial Real Estate Show. I'm Michael Bull. We'll be right back. The Commercial Real Estate Show is brought to you by your friends at Bull Realty, France Media, Atlanta Office Liquidators, and Wiseman, Noack, Curry, and Wilco. For more information about these companies or to access additional show podcasts, videos, or blogs, visit commercialrealestateshow.com.